Welcome, Brent, for a friend. Thank you for uh, viewing today. We're looking at Luke 15, verse 23, where the Bible said to bring hither the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. We've been looking at the characters in Luke 15, the parable side of what we call the prodigal. We've looked at that younger son, the elder son. We've been looking at this fatty calf, and I want to finish that up today. It speaks, as we've already seen, of expectation. It speaks of reconciliation. But let me talk today about it speaks of celebration. This father is excited, thankful, glad, ecstatic that his boy who had got in sin had got off in a far country, wasted everything he had, throwed it away. It's gone. But this father is so glad he's home, he throws a celebration. He's they've got music going. They've killed this fatty calf. Boy, there's food. He's called the neighbors in. Uh, boy, they, he's excited. And can I remind us of something? If you study Luke 15, there, it's really one whole parable in three parts. There's a, a part that deals with the lost sheep, part deals with the lost uh, silver, then the part deals with the lost son. All three of them end with celebration because the one got right with God. That's what we're dealing with. Instead of, the, you see, this whole chapter begins with the Pharisees complaining that Jesus receives sinners and eats with them. They can't understand why he wants to see them get right and then wants to spend time with them after they get right. They don't understand it. You know, there's a lot of people like that today. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something. I've been in the ministry over 36 years now. I've seen many people walk an aisle and get saved. I've seen prodigals walk the aisle and get right. I'm gonna tell you what this preacher does. He rejoices because that's what the Bible teaches. I'm gonna shout the victory that they got right. I hate that they, uh, the, the, the Christians got backslidden, got the men, but I tell you what, I'm glad they got right. And I'm glad when sinners get right. That means another one don't have to go to hell. We ought never fold ours. Well, let's see if it takes, let's see if it, hey, we ought to rejoice. That is the teaching of Luke 15. We are to celebrate when someone gets right with God. I'm gonna tell you, I've celebrated prayed people that I can't even tell you what their names were. But I, I know this, there, there's people I prayed for, uh, lost or backslidden, and when they've got right, nobody had to tell me to shout. Man, I got it. I was glad I had something invested, uh, prayer, time, witnessing. And so I encourage you, remember this fatty calf, it speaks to celebrate. We, though, say we ought to be known as a people that rejoice when sinners get right. Thank you for viewing Bread for a Friend today. Tune in next time.